Right now, more than 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. November is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, and researchers are studying ways that could possibly slow down this disease. Every 60 seconds, someone in the United States develops Alzheimer's disease. There is a huge need for new Alzheimer's disease treatments. One major breakthrough in the lab, a blood test that predicts the onset of Alzheimer's 20 years before symptoms occur. It works by detecting the buildup of microscopic clumps of amyloid plaques in the brain. So these clumps kind of break up the communication between our neurons that are needed for us to think and remember and do things that we normally do. Researchers from Washington University School of Medicine report that when the amyloid levels are combined with age and a gene variant, brain changes can be identified with 94% accuracy. But that's not all. They are now working to create a blood test to determine the presence of tangles that occur after Alzheimer's symptoms appear. So when people do have subtle memory problems, we can tell whether is it really due to Alzheimer's disease or is it likely due to some other cause. These simple blood tests could be available during a regular doctor's visit within two years, bypassing the need for expensive tests and procedures. We can send as many people as we want to get a blood test and they can get it that day. Another breakthrough uses antibodies to alert the immune system to the presence of plaques and directs immune cells to remove them. When we administer it to mouse models that develop this disease, it removes these plaques from the brain and from the blood vessels. Three ways researchers are working to save our memories before it's too late. Now in June, the FDA approved the first new drug for Alzheimer's disease in 18 years. Adjuhelm targets plaque in the brain while possibly slowing cognitive development.